Well, it's great to be joined by Pierre Charles. Pierre, it's been a while since I've seen you. The world has changed. Racing has changed. First off, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. And I'm very happy to, to see you on a good form. Yeah, we had a few, uh, a few worrying days back then, but uh, luckily enough, things are going pretty well now. Um, talk to me. How was uh, lockdown for you in France? And uh, what kind of things were you getting up to at home? I saw you doing a lot of press-ups with the Red Bull cans. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, the, the lockdown was, was okay for me. Um, I have been with a friend of me and my girlfriend. And um, it, it was okay. The first month, uh, I'm, I make the, the garden, cooking, some make challenge. But yeah. the... The second month was a bit, bit, bit boring, a bit long. Um, I was very exciting to, to be back on track. I mean, what, what was it like for you being at home for so long and not being at the race courses? How did you manage your fitness levels? Were you, uh, were you in the kitchen cooking a lot more? What happened to Pierre Charles during that time? No, I'm, I'm a bad... Uh, I'm not good for the for cooking, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's better for me uh, because uh, yeah, for for keep uh, my my body uh, on a on a good form. I make uh, running. Uh, I bike a lot. Yeah, uh, on the home trainer at home and uh, running around the the house and. I rode uh, on the morning. Good stuff. I know you're one of the, uh, the fittest, strongest jockeys in France, so uh, I'm sure you've been looking after yourself. Now, talk to me. Did you manage to watch any good movies during lockdown on Netflix? Any shows that Pierre loves? Um, I saw a lot of movies and, uh, and series. Uh, I don't know if you know uh, La Casa de Papel. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. I I I finish uh, I finish her uh, on uh, just one day. Um, <laughs> the whole se the whole series. Yes. Wow. <laughs> no, just the season four. Oh, the just the season four. Okay. Yeah. The professor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm and looking I'm, forward to series five. I can't wait. Yes, and uh, I love the um, one um, one uh, series on the. Uh, a French series on the survive. Uh, his name, her name is uh, Colanta. Okay. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Now talk to me. How many press ups can Pierre Charles do in one go? Oh. How many press ups? <laughs> Just eight, eight, nine. Not, no, not more. more. I can, you can <laughs> do more. You can do more. Small <laughs> harm. Yes, <laughs> strong legs. <laughs> so life in lockdown, racing was reopened in France. What's it like being a jockey now, going to the race course? There's no spectators. There's no blogger screaming, lift him, lift him, PC. You have this two meter rule. You've got to wear the mask. Tell me about the changes in French racing. Yeah, a lot of changes. The rule is very strict. You need to to have um, um, some distance with the other people. Uh, you need to wear a passing mask. It's not easy when the the weather is warm. You know, not yeah. so easy, but we get used. And have the trainers been coming to the race courses and the owners, or is it just the jockey and the stable lad or lass? No, just a uh, one stable lab for for nurses, a trainer and a jockey. The owner can come in. Okay. And I know since racing restarted in France, you've been on fire. There's been winners, winners, winners. You had a treble for your brother-in-law, Mikhail Soror. Things have started very positive for you. Yes. The the comeback was, was very good. Uh, yeah. I'm... I was very happy uh, with my fitness, yeah. And the, and the horse was uh, was on a perfect form. 
uh, a lot of uh, horses, um, uh, André Fabre, Francis Graffa, and uh, Michael Serra, and uh, Henri Alex Pantal. Uh, the horse was 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 fit, yeah. and he did it. I mean, you're you're riding for the best trainers in France. It must give you a great sense of satisfaction riding the best horses day in day out. Exactly, exactly. I, um, I had a, a chance to to work for for a lot of uh, best trainer in France. Absolutely. Now talk to me. We've got some uh, some interesting racing at Deauville today. In England, it's very hot. The weather is about twenty six degrees. Um, on the website for Deauville, it says the ground is soft. Has there been rain in Deauville, or is it hot? No, 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 no. Same, same as you. Uh, Twenty-five degrees, but uh, the ground will be good. Just, uh, I think, strip on two. Okay, lovely. And you ride a, a very exciting horse, a horse that won by eight lengths at Sun Clue last year, Ocean Atlantique. For Coolmore, we've got some speed here. Calix, a very fast horse. Talk to me about this son of American Pharaoh. He ran a lovely race on his comeback behind uh, Pascal Barry's horse, Paul Alto. Has he come forward for the run? Yes, exactly. For his comeback, he ran uh, very well on a nice, yeah. on a nice style. Uh, today, the distance uh, will be a bit longer, uh, more longer than, the, than his comeback. Uh, 2000 is, is very good for, for him. And I'm I'm very exciting to to refine in uh, on track, and potentially he could be a horse for the French Derby. Yeah, exactly. You are right. Uh, and and a, an exciting horse for the genius Andre Fab. Yes, he's a nice pro he's a nice prospect for the for the Derby. Absolutely. I was researching Andre Fab on Google last night. And uh, I didn't know he was champion jumps jockey in France. Yes, right. He won three or four times the the Grand Stiple Chess de Paris. Unbelievable, incredible. Just just one time on jockey and three or four times. I'm not sure on the trainer. And and champion trainer on the flat. I think maybe 24, 25 times. What a career. What's it like working for Andre Fab, the great man? Oh, it's easy to work with him. He is, uh, he is strict, but uh, I, I work with him uh, about um, 13, 13 years now. Yeah. And uh, that's that, that the best. That, he is the maestro. He is the maestro, like the John Gosdens and the Aidan O'Briens. Yes, right. And you were you were apprentice for Andre Fab, weren't you, back when you started? Yeah, I I started at uh, 14 years old with wow. him. Incredible, a lot of history yes. and and a lot of yeah. big wins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Now listen, we've got the first two French classics at Deauville on Monday. And talking about Mr. Favre, he's got three runners in the 2000 Guineas, Victor Ladorum, Alson, and Arapafo. You ride Arapafo for Coolmore, who's won three races from four. He's stepping up in trip. He's done nothing wrong. Tell me about, um, you, you obviously see Victor at home and you see Alson. How do the horses all compare? The three of us are, uh, are well on the morning. Uh, but Arapao, um, uh, for his comeback, uh, he won a, a listed race uh, on a nice style over seven furlong. The mile uh, will be good for him. Um, I, I think he is, is very, very well on the morning and it can be uh, make a, a good performance. Yeah. And what, what did you think of, obviously, Vic Villadoran's comeback? He was very keen. He was fresh. He was pulling Mikel Barcelona at the time, hanging out a bit. Will he come forward for the run? 
Yes, in, it was a bit fresh for, for, for his return, but uh, he is a classic horse, for yeah. sure. He's an interesting horse. And obviously, Alson was trained in Germany last year. Um, he's now with Andre Favre, and he won a Group 1 by 20 lengths on very heavy ground. Do you think the, uh, the good ground might affect his chances? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't know, but uh, he, he is well on the morning. He is on a good form. Um, it's his return, but uh, he, he can make a, a nice performance. Now, I have to ask you, on Twitter, they asked me to ask Pierre Charles, if you had the choice from Victor, Alison and Al Rafa, which one would you choose? <laughs> uh, uh, maybe Victor Lodorum. Okay, me too. <laughs> I would be 90 kilos on Victor. I would sink him. <laughs> Good stuff. And obviously, we've got the, uh, the French 1000 guineas as well. And again, Andre Favre has the favourite with Tropu, who won last time. But your filly, Tickle Me Green, she ran a beautiful race on her first run for Andre. How do you assess her chances? Yes, it was a, it was a, a good race on the La Grotte. Yeah. Uh, it was the first time for, for us. Um, she is very good on the morning and she could be a potential a potential winner for the, for the French Guinea, I think. Yeah, she, yeah, she ran really well last time. Yes. And obviously, um, Chopu, I mean, she was very game last time. She was strong at the finish. Do you think the better ground will help her on Monday at Deauville? Yes, yeah, I think she, she, she will prefer the, the good ground. Fantastic. Well, we wish you the best in the... Uh, the two French classics. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait to see some good horses. Um, talk to me about some horses that you've been riding at home on the gallop that have been flying and getting Pierre Charles excited. Anything that's um, catching your eye? I, I won uh, at St. Cloud with a, a very good two years old, trained by uh, Frédéric Rossi. He won on, on, a, on a beautiful style and he will uh, run uh, a class two at Chantilly uh, on the uh, over six for long. Okay. Maybe he will be a potential uh, prospect for the pre money or, or uh -huh. another group one for two years old. Exciting. That's one for the, uh, for the notebook for all the boys at home. And you, you rode a horse for uh, one of my favorite trainers, Fabrice Chappé. Um, called Hurricane Ivor, who was an exceptional two-year-old. It was good to see him back. Yes, he is a rocket. <laughs> rocket. <laughs> this, <laughs> this horse is very fast. Uh, he is just fast uh, five furlong, and his maximum is uh, is six furlong. But uh, he he did he did it very well for 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 his last start. Yeah, another another exciting horse to look forward to for the yes. season. And one more as, who I as, saw... as wooded, as wooded. Okay. And as another wooded. horse that you rode recently was Bon Edi, the Frankel filly. She was very impressive. Yes, yes, she was very impressive this she day. She looked very after. big, very strong. Yeah, very strong, long action, big action, um, a bit, uh, a bit one pace. She don't have a big turn of foot, yeah. but, but she has a beautiful action. Fantastic. Now, what's, what's going to happen with you coming over to uh, maybe the Epsom Oaks, the Derby and Royal Ascot this year? Does Pierre Charles have any plans? Um, I, I, I have a lot of horses for Ascot, but uh, I, I, I'm not sure about the the quarantine and uh, it it's difficult for the moment uh, in England to have a plane. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And obviously racing in France at the moment has been in Normandy away from Paris Central. When is racing going to go back to Paris Central? Do we know? Um, 
I don't know for the moment, but uh, maybe near to the to the twenty. Okay. Twenty June. Right. Exciting. Yeah. And are you living are you living down near Deauville now, or do you travel to Shanti and do a lot of driving every day? Yeah, a lot of driving every day. Okay. So you're living life like the English jockeys, up and down the motorway, everywhere. Yes, right. Okay. <laughs> Pain, painful. <laughs> Lots of Red Bull and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Bull is just for the challenge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brilliant. We love it. We love it. And um, I, know, I know you're a big fan of your music. What kind of music do you listen to in the car when you're driving to the race course? Ah, uh, dance, dance, dance music. Yeah. Have you got those yeah. French dance moves? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Sinclair, David Guetta, and, yeah. uh, and, and other. I found, I found a few songs. I'll send them over to you later. Some real banging tunes. Send Good me. stuff. Well, listen, it's been a great pleasure to talk to you today. We, uh, we wish you all the best in the big races coming up. It's an exciting week. It's good to see some big races back. We're going to get some good action and hopefully we see you in the winner's enclosure on the TV. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. It was, a, it was a pleasure for me. It's always a pleasure uh, with you to have an interview with you and uh, hope to see you soon. Legend. Fantastic as always.